In this video, we are going to learn how to determine the missing angle in a triangle if the other two angles are given. Suppose we have a triangle like this. Here we can see that we have been given two angles. One of the angles is 30 degrees, another angle is 70 degrees. And we want to find the value of the missing angle, which is x. Now how do we do this? To do this, recall that the sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So if we add the measures of all of the angles in this triangle, we should get 180 degrees. That means that if we add x, 30 degrees, and 70 degrees, then we will get 180 degrees. So let's write that down. So we have x plus 30 degrees plus 70 degrees. This is equal to 180 degrees. And we want to determine the value of x, that is our required missing angle. So let's see how we can do that. So what we're going to do is put a parenthesis here so that we can bunch together 30 degrees and 70 degrees. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this entire expression to the right hand side of the equation. And to do that, we need to change its sign. So what we get is that x is equal to 180 degrees minus 30 degrees plus 70 degrees. We had a plus sign over here, and so we change the sign and we end up with a negative sign. So this is what we get. So we have 180 degrees minus 30 degrees plus 70 degrees, that's 100 degrees, and 180 degrees minus 100 degrees is 80 degrees. So that means that x is 80 degrees. And so what is the measure of the missing angle? It's going to be 80 degrees. So how did we determine this? Let us have a look. What we did is we subtracted from 180 degrees the sum of the two angles that were given. Using the same process, we can determine the missing angle in any triangle whenever the other two angles are given. All we need to do is subtract the sum of the two given angles from 180 degrees. Now let us have a look at a few practice problems to understand exactly how we do this. Consider the first triangle. We need to find the missing angle x and the other two angles of the triangle are given to be 20 degrees and 40 degrees. So how are we going to find the value of x? To obtain the value of x, we just need to subtract from 180 degrees the sum of the other two angles. So this is what we get. We get 180 degrees minus 20 degrees plus 40 degrees. So that's 180 degrees minus 60 degrees, and this is equal to 120 degrees. So what is the value of the missing angle? It's 120 degrees. Let us move on to the next problem. In this triangle, we need to determine the value of x, where the other two angles are 60 degrees and 90 degrees. So let us determine x by subtracting from 180 degrees the sum of the other two angles. So we get 180 degrees minus 60 degrees plus 90 degrees. So 180 degrees minus that sum, 60 degrees plus 90 degrees is 150 degrees. So we have 180 degrees minus 150 degrees, that is equal to 30 degrees. And so this is the missing angle, it is 30 degrees. Let us move on to the next problem. Now in this triangle, we need to determine the missing angle x, where the other two angles are 60 degrees and 60 degrees. So let us determine the value of x by subtracting from 180 degrees the sum of the other two angles. So we have 180 degrees minus 60 degrees plus 60 degrees. So that's 180 degrees minus the sum. 60 degrees plus 60 degrees is 120 degrees. And 180 degrees minus 120 degrees is 60 degrees. And so this is the value of the missing angle. The measure of the missing angle is 60 degrees. 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time.